Please join us in prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for the breath you've given us and for the blessings that you've given us today. We also thank you for the struggles and the tough times because we know that it's just forming our character and it's helping us become the disciples you call us to be. We humbly ask you, Lord, that as we go through this storm of uncertainty right now, the storm of financial struggle, the storm of disease and sickness, and as we venture into the unknown, we pray that you help us overcome and persist. We pray that you help us walk over water and walk towards you. Help us keep our focus off the storm and help us keep our focus on you. When things in our life give us fear and we start to feel like we are drowning in our in our worry or in our in our struggles, please give us the the strength to continue to have stronger faith and to just worship you in the storm. Help us worry less. Help us adore you more. Help us live with faith. And may we kneel to worship you. May we have humility before you. May we let go of all of our egos and our prides, our own ideas, our own identity, and help us acknowledge who you truly are. May we fully, fully love everything that you've given us and fully, fully love those who you've put in our lives. May we fully, fully love you. May we serve you and worship you the way that you deserve to be, the way that you deserve to be worshipped. Lastly, Lord, we pray that you give us the faith of Peter that is willing to just jump out of the boat and go to you immediately because it's, it's you. And protect us from sinking and drowning in the waters because we take our focus off you. May we be consistent in faith and may we have trust that the storm will soon be over. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Good evening, welcome to our day 65 for our coronavirus novena. Today I want to read... um, A passage from Matthew 14, 28 to 31. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? So today um, we wanted to talk about how we can walk on water through our faith. Not just more so, not really in a miraculous way, but more in a spiritual way. Because I think when you meditate on this passage, um, many times there's scenarios and situations in our life where we can feel like Peter where we're filled with faith, we're filled with uh, a spiritual high, if you will, um, so much passion to just do great things for the Lord and to do great things for the, for, for our loved ones, for this world. But then when things start to get stormy, when things start to get difficult, when things start to get uncertain and you're filled with some sort of like doubts or fears, we start to sink. And that's when Jesus wants us to walk on water and just have faith and trust in him. Especially in these times, um, it's probably common for everyone to have their type of, their own type of stormy weather season or stormy weather problem, whether that be in finances, whether that be in their relationships, whether that be in just even finding the next meal. But whenever we're in our storms, it's important to remember to walk by faith with our Lord. And it's important to remember that that's the moment when we need to have the most faith. When everything is stormy, when everything seems like it's not gonna go well. 
So we have a, a couple of tips on how we can walk, walk on our waters, walk on, walk through our storms. W can stand for worry less. If Peter didn't worry about the storm that was happening around him, he would have continued walking with Jesus and he would have continued being able to just focus on him and not really succumb to the, the craziness that was happening around him. A can be adore more. We, we always have more room to adore our Lord. We're, we're always called to adore him in every scene and every season of our life. L is to live with faith. Living with faith is not just um, through words, but it's through actions. We have to, we have to, we have to act what you preach. And K can be kneel to worship. Um, in my mind, that's kind of like an action of humility. When you're kneeling, you're you're humbling yourself. You're putting down your pride, your ego, your identity. So to walk over our water, we have to really know how to truly worship and how to be humble before our Lord. So please join us in prayer as we, um, as we pray for our loved ones, as we pray for this storm that we're in, and as we pray for our whole entire country and for your personal and our personal intentions as well. Hello, good evening once again in our, on day 65. As what Marianne said, that uh, uh, walking in water through our faith, we're going to dedicate this uh, novena prayer to uh, our uh, uh, to the people in Hong Kong right now because of the uh, turmoil there and the, uh, the uh, what do you call this? The, the problem that they're encountering with the uh, Chinese uh, Communist Party and uh, also we offer this prayer for the, um, the soul of uh, George who died in Minneapolis and likewise uh, all over the United States right now they have a lot of uh, um, strikes so uh, for, for peace uh, in our country, we're going to pray for the uh, prayer for peace. So we can start praying now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day arose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and to the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was, so begins, now and shall be, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now and shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, now ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now and shall be, well without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now and shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, and I hope that uh, you have joined us in prayer for today. And hopefully tomorrow on our day 66, you can still join us. And also you can, uh, you can watch our previous videos since day one. And uh, see you again tomorrow. Thank you. God bless and be safe. Bye.